Okay, people. So my boy Henry hit me up with a great flick, right? It is called Bibby. It is written and directed by Christopher Beatty. Um, the film is produced by uh, Logan Hunter. We got E.D. McClaife, Benjamin J. Murray, Glenn Trotner. It's executive produced by Robert Stanton, Jack Doyle, Jamie Badan, and Christopher Beatty. Co produced by Nick Belvovich and Nicholas Di Piero. Um, along with Elizabeth Page and Brenton Reynolds. John Persano handles the music. John F. Rutland, cinematography. Benjamin J. Murray edits the piece. Stephanie Holbrook is on casting. Production design is Tim Kowalski. Art direction is Alec Adelia. Set decoration is handled by Melissa Edmund. Kimberly G. Grader handles costume design. Uh, we got hair and makeup from Kim Shriver, Tiffany Rodriguez, Becca Lowe, and Mary Chipman. Jamie Badan and Nicholas DePirio are production management and our cast. Well, Vivian Ashwood is played by Elizabeth Page. Her daughter, Bibby, is played by Judith Ann Domini. Um, her other daughter, Ava, is played by Rowan Castro. A younger version of Bibby is played by Juliana Davis. Uh, we've got her Vivian's friend, Nancy, played by Tammy Blanchard. Her therapist, Dr. Grayson, is played by Rick Zahn. Uh, we've got Mr. Ashwood, played by Logan Hunter. The lifeguard is played by Brenton Reynolds. Uh, Charles is played by Charles Gray. The boy in the pool is played by Neddy Rossi. And the ride attendant is played by Nathan Fudri. Okay, so the gist of the film is this. It's a gripping psychological thriller that delves into the harrowing journey of Vivian Ashwood. A grieving woman haunted by tragedy and tormented by a menacing stranger. Battling her own inner demons, Vivian spirals into a dark abyss of perception, prescription medication and alcohol as she desperately tries to cope with her overwhelming loss. As Vivian's nightmares blend with her walking reality, she becomes trapped in a disorientating labyrinth of fear and uncertainty. As the torment escalates, Vivian seeks solace in Bibby, but their relationship is strained by the weight of grief and resentment that lingers. Fueled by her love for Bibby, Vivian embarks on a treacherous quest for answers. She grapples with the blurred lines between what is real and what is delusion, constantly questioning her own prescription of the truth of every revaluation Vivian's desperation intensifies driving her to question her sanity and ultimately face a terrifying truth which uh, yeah sounds harrowing I know people you know what I mean now Christopher Beatty had a statement right? Uh, <coughs> oh my god, hay fever people, it is killing me. All right, so let's um, see what Christopher had to say. As a filmmaker, my goal is to delve into the depths of human emotions 
and bring compelling stories to life on the screen. In Bibi, I was drawn to the psychological thriller genre as it allowed me to explore the fragility of the human mind and blurred boundaries between reality and illusion. This film offers an intense and suspenseful narrative, immersing the audience in the unraveling psyche of Vivian Ashwood, a grieving woman who faces unimaginable challenges. With Bibby, I chose to delve into the themes of addiction, grief, guilt, and the lengths a person will go to protect their loved ones. By navigating the dark and twisted paths of Vivian's journey, we confront the universal human experiences of loss, fear, and the search for redemption. Though the character of Vivian, we explore the intricate layers of the human psyche, delving into the, into the complexities of her relationships and the impact of her choice. Visually, the film mirrors Vivian's psychological state with a blend of haunting and surreal elements, incredible cinematography, sound design, and editing techniques were used to heighten the tension and amplify the emotional impact of the story. Collaboration is key in the filmmaking process. I have always believed in fostering a creative and supportive environment on set where cast and crew bring their unique talents and prescriptive to elevate the storytelling. With Bibi, the result was a timeless cinematic beauty that not only entertains but also provokes thought and evokes a visual response. So... Yeah, there we go, people. And I have to say, right, I have to say, B.E. and crew knocked, knocked this out of the park. B.B. is frigging tremendous, right? Tremendous in the fact that he's able to tell this story and not become a caricature, but also... As, as he said, right, blend all of these different techniques together, like the sound, the cinematography, you know, the lighting, the imagery, the acting, everything becomes a harmonious, like, picture. You know, just the opening, right, it's dark. We're outside this big house far off and the camera starts panning towards it slowly moving we got this music this ominous music blaring and then we're moving through the house we see this woman lying in bed and we're cut in between that and a bathtub and you know no no words we don't know what this signifies, but there is just this foreboding. This does not feel good. Oh my God, it does not feel good. And then going from that, right, where that just that part of the, the beginning, where it then goes, I'm just like, oh, you know, firstly, I'm just like, yo. I'm having lights in all my spots, right? There's no way I'm having a huge house and you go outside and there's no lights? Are you fucking kidding me? You know what I mean? But this whole thing, it just lets you know we are dealing with some shit. We are dealing with some shit. So be ready, people. That's what it is, you know, and it, it, it's a masterfully told story, right? Which, hey, I try not to, you know what I mean, use certain words a lot, right? I'm not going to call anything masterful, right? I'm not going to blow smoke up people's asses, right? This is straight up genius. It really is. Because... 
there are so many things you think of while watching a story. Okay, obviously, there's this grief and this person looking for redemption. And you're think you are thinking so many different things, right? Because you're seeing characters act in certain ways, and it's just like, God damn it. But as the story unfolds, right, your understanding of those actions is deepened, and you're like, oh fuck, right. And then the like it's an onion, man. You're just peeling back those layers, and the layers are giving you more context, but also so much more just grief and turmoil. Right? It's it's not a good story in the fact that it is just drenched in grief, right? That's the problem with this. But the way it's told is like so nuanced that it's not clear. It's not clear. You can't watch this for a few minutes and go, I know what's happening. Right? Because you, it, it, it's this sleight of hand, right? B.E. and crew are like magicians because. You might think something, right? And and we get this flashback and you think, oh, I think. But then when we come out of it, like, oh, right, I was wrong. Because we're now seeing, so yeah, obviously, right? Which was such a smart thing, but not dishonest, right? When everything comes to light, it's just like, oh, yeah, nothing's dishonest, right? And that's just the beauty of it all, right, the, the imagery, as I said, like this bathtub is a huge framing device, right, circles seem to be too, and not just circles, right, there's something with them, you'll understand when you watch the film, but it's, whew, Oh, people, trust me, Vivi is one to see, right? And as I said, the cast, oh my God, the cast are so frigging good. So frigging good. Paige, Elizabeth Page as Vivian. I do not know how she gives us this performance because there's anger. There's fear, there's grief, there's, you know, longing, right? Longing for closure, longing for redemption, longing for someone. All of these things. And she gives us this, right? At no point do we, do we go... Yeah, she's kind of hamming this up, right? That's a little over the top. I don't believe. No, you believe everything that she is selling you. And then Judith and the mini. I'm not quite sure how old she is. She's young, right? She plays Bibby, Vivian's daughter. I mean, this ice cold performance is crazy creepy as fuck and then it's not right you're just like wait what the fuck is going on with this kid you know what is happening here it's so well played right Tammy Blanchfield as Nancy is great Rick Zahn as Dr. Grayson we just across the board, everyone is really knocking it out the park, people. These performances are fantastic. They really are. You know what I mean? They really are. It's great. The color, right? The use of color is very interesting. 
because we have these really dark moments and then we have these lighter moments right and I feel like the light well it, it depends man because we're going in and out of reality and flashbacks and just all of this stuff and the color kind of lets you know where you are but it's very subtle right it's not like oh when it's these colors when it's translucent when it's five it means it's the no it, it's 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 not as simple as that. But I feel that the color does play a big part in everything we're seeing. Like the soundtrack. A lot of times, and you know, people, I've said it a lot, right? Soundtrack pissed me off. Just because it becomes too ham ham-handed, right? Like, oh, you're sad now. This is when you're angry. Now, with Bibi, the music is a player. Right? The music's part of the script. It really fits in well and just elevates the scenes. It's not dictating to you how you should feel. It's just elevating everything. It, it, it really is a fantastic piece of cinema, people. And I highly, highly recommend you checking it out if you like right psychological thrillers you will really enjoy it i mean we recently looked at jagged mind uh, you know completely different story but plays with reality and everything like that right so you know if you enjoyed that you will Definitely, definitely people like Bibi, you know? So it is playing at Dances with Films, right? It's having its world premiere here on the 29th of June. It's on at 7.15. Um, yeah. On at 7.15, um, that's Pacific. It's at the Chinese, TCL Chinese Theatre. Um, yeah, I think cast and crew, right, are going to be in uh, attendance doing a and a So, people, 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 you know what I mean? If... If it sounds like it's for you, and I don't know why it wouldn't be, yeah, make sure you go check this out. I do not think you'll be disappointed, right? So all the links on the website, go check these people out. If you're, if you're in Hollywood, go watch the film. Oh, my God. Go watch the film. Or just keep an eye and see if it's at a festival near you. You know, because this is a, a tremendous, a tremendous story and production. So go check it out, people. Bibi.